All right, so we've had multiple lessons on John Bonham, his style, different things that you can do to sound like him. Uh, and that's what I love is picking apart the style of a drummer and he's an epic one to do that with. Now, I got something really cool because I, I was doing this and I was like, man, wouldn't it be cool if there was something that combined a bunch of this stuff so that we could practice it over and over and now there is because there's a John Bonham warm up, right? And I've put this stuff together. Uh, it's gonna be a five to 10 minute warm up depending on how you play it. Very simple to grasp the concept but the things that you play in there are not so simple. Now the sheet music is below in the video description or in a pinned comment as well. I've pinned all of the uh, the last four uh, bottom lessons that I've done on different grooves, different drum fills, many of what are in here, I'm kind of using some of those concepts. So go check those out, the intros, and then also his single kick triplets that he used to do. And so I've got all those linked below as well. But this is going to be a simple warm up uh, or a simple and structure that you can do every day. And it's going to kind of help to ingrain these uh, Bonham principles into you so that you can, whenever you think, hey, I want to play a fill like John Bonham, you got something to pull from. So let's get this warm up started. The first part of this warm up, if you ever watch my warm ups, they're simple, they're to the point, they're not really complex, and usually they're gonna last for five to 10 minutes. So each one of these lines, you're going to play for one to two minutes, depending on how long you want your warm up to be. It's not meant to be played at a pace that is super challenging. It's meant to be played at a pace that you can 100% perform it. That's what I want a warm up to be. And I've got the sheet music for you. So it's in the video description as well, it's gonna be in a comment, uh, a pinned comment, so you can do that. I'll also put all the links for the other lessons down there too, so you can kind of ping pong back to those and catch up if you haven't or rewatch them or you know, just go post and say, hey, stop giving Bonham lessons and go on to something else. Maybe that's what you want. All right, so let's check out the first uh, line of this. Uh, so we're gonna play it for one to two minutes. And again, I wanna stress, play it slow. We're gonna do the Bonham triplets, all right? And that's gonna be very, very simple. It's just four different groupings of three notes. And it starts with a left. It's gonna be left, right, kick, and triplets. So we're gonna do the first one on the snare drum. The second one, left hand on the high tom, right hand on the floor tom. Third one, right hand on the high tom, left hand on the low tom. And then we're gonna reverse that, right, uh, left hand on the high tom, right hand on the floor tom. I'm not gonna take a whole long time to break that down because I did break that down in the top John Bonham drum fills lesson. Again, that's linked below. So you can check, if you need a, like an in-depth breakdown and full speed and all of that, you can check that out. But I just wanna get the warm up across to you. Now you're gonna play that for one to two minutes, okay? Whatever BPM you feel is comfortable. And again, we're looking at working on spacing, making sure we're not cheating any of the subdivisions and making sure it feels good when we play it. All too often, whenever that lick is played, it's sped up and it starts to sound sloppy because the spacing gets off. So play it somewhere where you can begin to warm up that spacing in your playing. The next one I have not broken down yet, but you can hear Bonham play it in multiple of their recordings and uh, it, it's a really fun lick. It's kind of a three over four um, feel whenever he plays it, and it's, and it's um, really it's Bucket of Fish. So Bucket of Fish, you may have heard me talk on that before, and that's gonna be a, a variation of the bottom triplet. We're gonna add another note to it, and essentially it goes right on the snare, left on the high tom, right on the floor tom, followed by a kick, but the first two notes are twice as fast as the second two notes. So essentially we're gonna have two 32nd notes followed by two 16th notes. 32nd, 32nd, 16th, 16th. We're gonna put four of those together and that's gonna be three beats of 16th notes. So it's one, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and a uh, three e and a uh. and then we're gonna play bottom triplets let me play that real quick it's gonna go four and and we'll put a click to that to make sure that you can see exactly where the beat lies i'll put it on 16th notes so it's super annoying but also so you can see where those subdivisions are two 
Now sped up with eight notes on a click. Now on beat four, we're gonna round that out with two bottom triplets. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna play it, usually bottom will play it left hand lead, but I'm gonna play two right hand. So it's gonna be right left on the high tom with a kick, and then right left on the floor tom with a kick, insects tuplet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One and. So let's put that with the first one that we learned, and this is eighth notes on the click. So the first three beats and the fourth beat together. Two, three, four. Now again, we're gonna play that for one to two minutes, depending on how much time you have, just over and over. And again, we're looking at the timing. It's got a polyrhythm in it. And so it's just gonna help you. This is if you love Bonham. You're gonna be playing his licks as a warm-up. That's a lot of fun, all right? So we have that first line, and then the second line, uh, where we're doing that, um, that bucket of fish lick with two Bonham triplets at the end of it. Now this next one is one that we haven't covered as well, but we're gonna throw it in the warm-up because it's something that you hear him do. You, hear, you can hear him do it on, um, uh, on uh, Moby Dick. He does it in sections on there, and then also on, I believe it's Misty Mountain Hop. You can hear it in there. Bonham, a lot of times, drummers, when they play a drum fill, they'll put the kick on eighth notes. It's something that Bonham did that kind of threw it around was he put the hi-hat on the eighth notes or quarter notes and the kick drum was on the E's and the uhs. And so it sounded like one E and a two, E and a three, E and a, instead of one E and a two or, or just on straight eighth notes. All right, so the first thing to do is get that. So you're gonna need to slow this way down. Let's do 55 BPM. Three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, and uh, one, two, three, four. Now after you get that, then we want to get it to where we can play 16th notes in the hands on top of that before we add some accents. Two, three, get the feet going. One, and a two, e and a three, e and a four, e and a one. Thing to remember is all the right hands are gonna be with the hi-hat, all the left hands are gonna be with the kick drum. It's gonna throw some of you off because you're accustomed to it being the other way. Now, we're gonna add some accents in there. So the accents we're going to add is on the one and the uh of the one. So Then we're gonna add uh, e and of the, next, of the next beat. So two e and. Then on beat three, we have the downbeat. And then on beat four, we're gonna play the first two notes, two sixteenth notes as accents, four E and A. Uh. So let's do that real slowly at 50 BPM. Two E and A, uh, three E and A, uh, four E and A. Uh. Then get the hi-hat on eighth notes. One, two, three, four. Four. 
And next, get the kick drum going on the E's and the U's. Once you speed that up, that is a lot of fun to play and you can really get like a pocket going with it. But you can hear him do that in multiple places in their recording. Now, the next line, again, we're going to play that line for one to two minutes, okay? The next line is going to be the single kick triplet patterns that we see him playing. And I broke that down in a lesson that's linked below. Uh, and so essentially it's one hit on the hi-hat followed by two hits on the kick drum in sextuplets. So eighth notes here. One and two and three and four and... Put the snare on two and on four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and. So we're going to play that for four measures, and then we're going to drop into a groove. The first time you play the groove, you're going to have to omit the first. Um, the first downbeat in the kick drum unless you're just bad to the bone. Then you can put it in there and play three notes in a row on the kick drum at that speed. But for the rest of you, then you can drop that first kick drum. And what we're going to play is we're going to play a new groove and it'll sound like this. One and two and. So downbeat on one and then on three and we're going to play the triplet pattern. Three, two hits here and two hits here. One. And three, one, two, and three. let's speed that up. Three, four, one, and two, and Let's put it to a click around 65 BPM. So the first, remember, four measures of the first, four measures of the second. Two, three, four. And now let's speed that up. Let's take it up to maybe 100 BPM. Alright, so the last line of this is going to actually be the shuffle pattern from Fool in the Rain. And I've already gone over teaching that, but I'll go over real quick the pattern. And to me, a halftime shuffle really kind of helps me get my groove and pocket together, as well as just helps me get my timing together. So really that's all that this warm-up is meant to be in the style of John Bonham. So with the uh, halftime uh, shuffle on Fool in the Rain, we have the first and the third triplet partial on every beat. So ba 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 ba. 
Then we have the back beat on three on the snare. Three, four, one, two, three, four. If you need an in-depth lesson on this, I got that linked below. That's in the top bottom grooves lesson that's linked below. Um, as well, it's broken down in the sheet music. Now he raises the hi-hat on the third triplet partial uh, on beat one. The kick drum is going to play on the first and third triplet partial of beat one and the third triplet partial of beat two as well as the third triplet partial of beat four. One, two, three, four. Now, there's two ghost notes in there. They come on the second triplet partial of beat two and the second triplet partial of beat four. And again, I break that out in that lesson linked below. So very slowly, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. That's going to be the John Bonham warm up. And it's again, after the other four lessons we did on the grooves and the drum fills and the intros and the single kick triplets, I just thought, man, what would it would be fun if we just took a bunch of like John Bonham isms, if you want to call them that. That's what I always love to do is when I'm breaking down stuff, I always love to look at it and go, okay, what's the essence of this player? What are they playing over and over? If I wanted to play a fill in the style of John Bonham, what would I put in there? All of those different things. Now, there's a ton of other things that we could put in here, but this will get you started with that. Again, this incorporates several things that he was known for, that bucket of fish type of a fill over 16th notes, as well as bottom triplets, as well as the single kick triplet pattern, as well as the uh, kick drum on the E's and the U's, which is extremely hard if you've never done that, and then his infamous halftime shuffle for Fool in the Rain. So learn all of those, play each line for one to two minutes. The sheet music is linked below. Be sure and get that, it's completely free. What do you think? Is this a warm-up that you could use? Do you like these warm-ups? Let me know. If you like these warm-ups, I'll get more of them out there for you. But this is meant to be a five or 10 minute warm-up that you can use in your practice time to warm up your timing, your limbs, your brain, all of that stuff. Now, if this helped you, then please share it with somebody that you think it may help as well. Hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really don't know what you're doing. You're just way behind in times because there's new content coming three and four times a week as well. If you haven't hit notifications, hit that notifications bell because I'm going live some and uh, that will notify you when I'm live as well as it'll let you know whenever I've put new uh, content up there so that you can just tune in. I love tuning in and chatting with you guys. I've done several of them uh, and they're just a lot of fun. So, uh, And then if you need personalized drum lessons uh, online so with someone that is going to be there with you, help you build that plan, then please jump over to the website. It's linked below as well. Uh, check out the Drum Better Daily program. I would love to have you in there and I would love to see your drumming grow uh, the way that you know it can and the way that I know it can. But go learn this warm-up. Be John Bonham, and I'll see you in the next video.